First on Fox, a politician with an astounding admission. He says on tape that he lived in Illinois while representing citizens in Missouri. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes obtained the audio to, you have to hear to believe. Andrew Purcell answers where he really lived when he represented Bridgeton, Missouri residents as a councilman, and it's worse than taxpayers feared. Is that like stealing? You know, you're only supposed to be paid if you continue to serve. Bridgeton Mayor Terry Briggs recently learned Andrew Purcell was not really even living in the area he was paid to serve. Briggs found this voter registration showing Purcell registered to vote in Carterville, Illinois, and stopped showing up for his council meetings at about the same time. That's one of the things we're investigating right now. The uh, police officers are going over to Illinois where he established another residence just to verify that he did establish that residence. It turns out Purcell, who still appears on this pre-printed 2022 Bridgeton calendar, was trying to run for Williamson County Commissioner 140 miles away. When election authorities there learned Purcell was already a Bridgeton councilman, listen to how Purcell responded during an electoral board hearing. My argument would be that the appropriate remedy should not be to take me off of the ballot here in Williamson County, but the appropriate remedy should be in Bridgeton, Missouri. Uh, it is my contention under oath that I am a resident of Williamson County, and I have been since March 1st of 2021. Purcell said the proof is in a utility bill from March 2021 with an address on Timber Trail in Carterville, Illinois, and a signed lease agreement dated March 1st, 2021 at the same address. Look, I am a resident of Williamson County. I have been for more than a year preceding the election. And while there may be an ethical dilemma between me sitting on that board while I'm not living in Bridgeton, I think that's a remedy for Bridgeton and that's not grounds to remove me from the ballot here in Williamson County. Purcell admits on that audio he never resigned his Bridgeton position and the salary would have added up to $6,000 during that time. The Williamson County Board of Election did not allow him on the ballot. He's not responded to my countless calls. In fact, I'm calling him right now and his voicemail is picking up. I'm going to leave him another message as authorities continue to investigate possible criminal charges. And they have this audio now as part of their consideration. Mr. Purcell, this is Chris Hayes with Fox 2. I've left numerous messages. We need to hear your side of the story. It looks like we'll be going to Carterville, Illinois to try to reach him. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.